Hello, it's me again. Another cooking video. This one is so simple and easy, but a couple of you have asked to see it since she mentioned that I am having company over for voting night and we're going to have something that I love. And they, the people that are coming, love it. There are some good friends of mine, classmates. And it is called Cornbread and Beans. Now you can make it with pintos, you can make it with Great Northerns, navy beans. Uh, I usually use uh, Great Northerns, but this particular time I'm making one that I've made several times. It's called 15 Bean Soup, and it comes in a bag in the store. You'll see them. It's a, a one or two pound bag of 15 bean soup, and it even comes with a packet of seasoning in it. There's different kind. There's Cajun 15 bean. There's uh, some that have a ham seasoning you can put in with it. I am not going to put that in because I season with my own, of course, Mr. Adobo himself and Grill and Grill Out from Excalibur. So those are my seasonings that I use. Now, this is, I, what, what I do is uh, I buy the bag and I uh, sort it and go through all of them, get the bad ones out if there's any, and then I soak them overnight. Now, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I do it because it starts the, the process of loosening up the beans and, and getting them a little, just a little softer, so it'll shorten your boiling time. So you just put them on, boil, let them boil a few hours, then you can put them down to simmer, uh, you can use a lot of water, you can use a little water. I like a lot of water, a lot of juice with mine. And we also make cornbread. This is Jiffy cornbread mix, okay? If you haven't tried Jiffy, you gotta try it. It's really good cornbread. It's got a hint of sweetness to it. It's just, it's very, very moist. And it's real easy to use. A little bit of milk and an egg. You mix it all together. Throw it in the oven 20 minutes or so and it's good. So that's what we use is Jiffy Cornbread. Now the, the 15 bean, I use 15 bean and I also put in, so if you can see this is, these are the 15 bean. And I put in an extra, since there's quite a few uh, friends coming, I put an extra bag of lentils in it. And there are lentils in the 15 bean, but I put an extra, about three quarters of a bag of lentils in with it. So I'll get this started. Get that on high to boil away. And get it all seasoned up. And of course you do this to taste. Now, I also put in it, not right away, after they're boiling an hour or two, I'll put in, I bought some ham hocks. Don't know if you've ever heard of them, if you've ever seen them. You know, they've got ham hocks, they've got shanks, there's, there's different uh, types of pork or, uh, or turkey or whatever you want to put in it. These are pork ham hocks, okay, it's like the, the knuckle and the, the lower foot and they're, they're heavy smoked and this really really puts a good flavor in with the beans and then you take these out and uh, you, you can do what you want with them I take them out I cut off the uh, skin off of all of them there's a little bit of meat and then I'll put the meat back in but I also buy chopped meat or which is ham chopped ham it's already pre-chopped you can buy ham steak and cut it up and put it in there. You can buy a whole big ham or a lot of people, what I usually do when I have a whole big ham with a bone in it, I'll put the whole, after we've had ham a day or two off of it, there's still some meat left on it, I'll put it in there for the flavoring instead of the ham hocks. So there's so many ways you can do it. But in this case, I didn't have a ham uh, bone or anything, so I bought the, the uh, ham hocks and I bought a pound of the chopped ham. Cubed ham, I should say, it's cubed. So, that will all go in a little bit later. But right now, 
It's just a cooking process. Get it all stirred up and just let it boil away. Check it every hour or so. See how it's doing. Start. You can start tasting it after an hour or two, especially uh, after you put the ham hocks in because there could be a little extra salt for the pro uh, the processing of it. So it might make it a little saltier. So you you want to wait till towards the end if you really need to add any more uh, adobo or anything because it's pretty salty and you don't want to over salt it. So that's the process. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I hope uh, it sounds good to you. I hope it's interesting. I love ham and beans. It's kind of a poor man's meal, but it's very reasonable, easy to make. But man, is it good, and you can eat on it two or three days. <laughs> so that's the deal. But remember, you might, you might not want to be around too many people for a couple days because <laughs> you'll be loaded, loaded for bear. We'll be back later to show you the finished product, guys. So, hope you uh, like this so far. Remember, share, like, tell your friends. Uh, we've got a lot of people in, that watch us now. We really were happy of that. And hi to all the new friends. And hi to all the old friends. And we'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye. All right, I'm back. It's been an hour and a half. They're really looking good. They're really starting to get soft. All right. I'd say another hour with the ham hocks in it. All right, I'm putting the ham hocks in now. Three of them. Mm. What did you do to those ham hocks? I haven't told them yet. Okay, there's the third one. Lay those in. All right, I took the skin off, okay. You don't have to. You can leave it on there if you want. You still get a good smoke flavor with it off of it because they're, they are smoked shank, uh, ham hocks. But uh, I just take it off. I'm not big on it. It's real, you know, thick. I won't put this in for another half hour, hour, okay, for the final step. And she's going to be making the cornbread. So now it's another hour or so we'll check that put the ham in and it'll just about be done and she will be making the cornbread we'll show you that when it's done so we'll be back see you ding 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 dinner bell guess what everything's done mmm been waiting all day oh smell the house all up it smells so good mm 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 so the ham and beans is done Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that ham and beans. And then you put cornbread with it. Personally, I put cornbread in with it. A little more sauce. I make it real. Oh, it's, it's awesome. The wife, not so much. You know, everybody's a little bit different, but that's how you do that. And here's the ham hocks. We took them out. There is meat on those. If you like to gnaw on the bone, I mean, there's always some meat on the bone. If you get my drift. So, we'll be gnawing on the bone. And there's the cornbread. Jiffy cornbread. Mm, mm, mm. So that is my simple easy doesn't take you know a lot of effort to make it but uh, it does take a while for it to cook now you can get you can get uh, Randall's makes them they come in a glass jar there's small glass jars big glass jars they come in pinto beans uh, mixed beans they come in pin, uh, northern beans great northern so if you don't want to have a long period of cooking and you just want to throw it together they're already pre-cooked they're in the jar they got some liquid with them throw them in there throw some ham in there or ham hocks or bacon or whatever you want green beans whatever you want to throw with it and you can make it that way it's real simple so that's my cornbread and beans I love it so I hope everybody enjoyed it 
give it a try if you haven't tried it and make sure you try the Jiffy Cornbread if you haven't tried it either. So, that's it. Remember, let go, let God. No guts, no glory. Mr. That is. See you later. Bye.